The survival rate for people diagnosed with pancreatic cancer is incredibly low, but with medical advancements, we've seen that rate grow over the years. For a West Michigan woman who received that diagnosis, her journey was a hard one and a long one, but something she survived thanks to her medical team and the strong support she received from family and friends. When you don't feel good, you need to get it checked out right away. I was lucky. I was very, very lucky in that they caught it early. For Karen Walschleiger, it was back pain, insomnia, and the food she ate not sitting well. And it just wasn't getting better and wasn't getting better. And there, I just had this feeling that something wasn't quite right. A Labor Day weekend trip to the hospital and a CT scan would reveal the cause of the pain and provide a diagnosis, a golf ball sized tumor on her pancreas, stage two pancreatic cancer. What do you do next? Where do you go? How do you navigate through all this? Who do you contact? And quite emotional, quite overwhelming, but um, it was the start of a, a journey. A journey that included chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Dr. Mora Asifi, a surgical oncologist at Corwell Health, says there's been big advancements in chemo in recent years. Because of that uh, chemotherapy and the you know effectiveness of that chemotherapy, we're able to be a lot more aggressive in which patients were able to take to surgery. I was only 55 when I was diagnosed, and that's that's not that old. And I know people are younger when they're diagnosed. But at 55, that's when everything kind of begins. Karen had a million reasons, including four adult children, to give this fight all she had. She credits her medical team at Corwell Health, her family, and the countless friends who surrounded her with love and support. You don't have to be afraid to think positive. There is hope and there's life afterwards. I have grandchildren now that I never thought I would see. The pancreas is a gland deep within the body that aids in digestion and regulating blood sugar. Pancreatic cancer is hard to catch early. Because this cancer is it can sometimes have very vague symptoms and there's no really great screening tool um, that we have yet for this cancer. Oftentimes this cancer presents late or metastatic, which means it's already spread beyond the confines of the pancreas. Karen's cancer was confined to her pancreas. Her doctors told her before she went under, if the surgery takes a long time, right that's a good thing. And when I woke up, the first thing I did was look at the clock and it was 6 p.m. And so I knew that they were able to take the cancer out and hopefully that was the end of it. The cancer was gone, but so was Karen's pancreas, spleen, the first section of her small intestine, gallbladder, part of her bile duct, and about a third of her stomach. Without a pancreas, Karen now has type 1 diabetes. It was something she was prepared for. I, I've recovered, I live a full life, and I go on adventures with everyone, my family, my grandkids, and we're going on a trip to celebrate. It's been 10 years in February and we're going on a family trip to celebrate, all because there is hope. Dr. Asifi says there's a lot of research going into vaccine therapy right now when it comes to pancreatic cancer. A small study published a few months ago showed promising results.